Gerbing batteries for your heated motorcycle gloves. XRLs. Catchy inside. Revelator L. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha. I hope you're all well in these testing times and cold times going through the winter here. So a few weeks ago, I received these from Gerbing uh, and I did a full review and installation of these uh, heated motorcycle gloves uh, to my motorcycle. And I've been riding around with them in uh, all weathers, day and night. And yes, I've uh, hit uh, sub-zero temperatures in them as well, would you believe? Basically, they have been performing fantastically. They are waterproof as I demonstrated as well however Gerbig did get in touch with me about my video and they said look look uh, yes it is waterproof but all, all this is leather so it will soak up a bit of water so whilst at the moment yes it's fine you can get a protective uh, chemical coating cream whatever to put on there to help protect the leather as well because it might uh, you know prematurely age as it were uh, or dry out or whatever the, the term is but anyway so but they work absolutely fine but say for the longevity of the just the leather, not the waterproof, and just the leather itself, you can get a protective cream. Okay, so I'll leave you to figure that out, but try anywhere for them as well. Anyway, they've been working great on the motorcycle on the three different uh, temperature settings, working great. I tend to put them on the highest setting anyway. But I said to them, you know what, I really want to see these uh, with batteries to see how long the batteries will last, especially for these shorter journeys where I really can't be bothered, in all fairness, to put the, the cabling through my arms, right? Okay, there was the other thing about the cabling as well that I found that I'd have to bring out the cabling from the front of my motorcycle a little bit more and have it exposed which i don't really want to do i really want to have it stealth like so i can just pop it in so what i said is can you send me an extension cable for that and they did and guess what look it's like one of these stretchy ones as well so i can just plug this in under the seat as it were where i can hide the uh the plug and then just have this stretchy stretchy uh inside my jacket away you go right so that's one problem solved so I wanted the batteries for those shorter journeys. Just put the batteries uh, inside uh, here, like so. There we go, there's a little pocket for it and away you go. So that's what they did, they sent me the batteries and here they are. Uh, I've already fully charged them. So it comes with basically a charger and uh, it, basically this charger's got two uh, connectors there and you've got two batteries. These batteries are two amp hour batteries, like that. What's great about them, that they've got this little blue LED uh, on little uh, light on there as well. And on the back here, it gives you a little color coding of the battery level, as it were. So if you've got three dots, uh, you've basically got a full charge. If you've got two dots, it's a medium charge. And if you've only got one dot left, basically you've got low charge. Uh, let me see if I can show you. Right, so uh, basically, all you need to do is uh, plug these into your gloves, like that. Like that. And look, it gives you three LEDs. So if you've got three LEDs, you've got full charge. Two LEDs, you've basically got medium charge. And one, you've got low charge, you need to charge it up. Right, so what we're going to do, uh, I'm going to keck these batteries up, like so, both on full charge. Right, so let's see. I'm going to put these in a the little pocket as well. Right, batteries in their little compartments. There we go. Right, so the, the gloves are on, the batteries in the compartments. Yes, they do make it feel a little bit more bulkier here, that's for sure, but you've got batteries in there, right? Okay, so let's just turn these on. Okay, so they are both on blue. So, and go amber, amber, and red, red. Don't know if you can see that, I'm hoping you can. Right, okay, so they're heating up straight away. Really nice, really, really nice. Okay, so what I'm going to do, the question you're going to be asking, because I know the gloves already work, and I know they're heating up. I can feel them heating up already. So how long are they going to last uh, heating on the different settings? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave one on red. I'm going to leave one on amber or yellow, whatever. Uh, I'm working in the workshop here today, so basically I, I'm gonna let them run and just uh, see how long they last. So it is now uh, 20 past 11 in the morning. 
let me just see how they go. And what I'll do, I'll repeat the test, I'll recharge them, repeat the test for uh, the blue setting as well. So then you'll know exactly how long. Now, I suppose it should be said that if you're riding really cold temperatures, then the batteries are probably gonna be really affected anyway as well. So possibly this is a relatively ambient tem temperatures here in my workshop, still cool-ish, but I would say it's about what, 15 degrees, something like that, 14 degrees. Uh, so they're going to perform a little bit better, possibly. Anyway, right, on with the test. Let's see how long these last. Uh, I will see you in a moment, or a few hours, as the case may be. Okay, so the time now is 13.29, so that's two hours and seven minutes, and this has literally just gone off. So the re on red setting, the highest setting, two hours and seven minutes. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this battery out and give it a full charge, and then I'm gonna come back and test it on its lowest setting. This middle setting is still going strong. Right, catch you later. Okay, so the time now is 14.24. By my reckoning, that's three hours and two minutes. Uh, so, and that is on the middle setting. So just over th uh, three hours, let's say. Uh, the, the red setting was just over two hours. Middle setting was just over three hours. I expected it to be a lot longer than that. I, I, I would say that. But right now I'm charging the original battery uh, and I'm gonna come back to you uh, to test the lowest setting, the blue setting, and also give you the length of time to charge up a battery as well. Right, catch you in a minute. Okay, we are back. Uh, basically, this has just finished charging and uh, it's taken three hours and 20 minutes to charge this. Now, uh, I have known these in the past, and not these specific ones, but in the past that take a lot longer, especially if they're completely, completely flat. Let's say you haven't used them in months, it might take four or five hours to charge. Uh, I'm not sure if they're older batteries uh, as well. They might take a lot longer sometimes. But say, this is what, three hours, uh, 20 minutes, yeah, th yeah, is that right? Yeah, three hours, 20 minutes uh, to go from flat, that they wouldn't work anymore, uh, to being recharged. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do, connect it up again. There we go, you can see it's three, three lights, fully charged. Right, so I'm gonna turn this on, and there we go, it's on blue. That's the lowest setting now. Let's see how long uh, this takes to, uh, to go it's uh, getting dark here as well so i'll probably what i'll do i'll uh, monitor this and then come back to you tomorrow as in, in the daylight it'll probably be better um but it's uh, now 17 20 here uh, in the uk i'm going to see how long this lasts i'm going to keep on coming in and monitoring it and then i'll probably just do a quick dark video to say right it's so and so time there we go uh this is how long it's lasted and i'll finish off the video tomorrow right catch you later Okay, so it's a few hours later now. It's uh, 23.07. Well, when the battery went, it's 23.07. It's actually a couple of minutes later now, 23.09. Uh, so what's that? Uh, that's uh, just uh, under five hours and uh, 50 minutes, uh, I believe. Uh, so it's, uh, yes, it's what, nearly six hours, five and a half to six hours on the battery on the lowest setting. We're talking, what, just over three hours uh, for the middle setting and what two hours two hours and 20 for the the hottest setting uh, so there we go there you have it now uh, you know this is not exactly scientific test and obviously you might want to do lots of repeated trials and I'm sure in different riding conditions different temperatures you know the batteries may uh, last slightly differently but that's a rough gauge for you but certainly a couple of hours on the hottest setting three hours on the medium and five plus hours, six hours nearly on the lowest setting as well. But there we go. So I, I know the batteries are, are great. Uh, it's it's sort of new technology as well from the older uh, sole gloves that they had uh, with the uh, Gerbing as well. Uh, and I had a set of those and they work great as well. But the gloves are really good. As I say, watch my other review video uh, for them as well. Put it through its paces. Uh, but I've been riding with them uh, in all temperatures, absolutely fine. On the powered by the motorcycle, they're absolutely great. Now I know that the the batteries are heating these gloves up just as as the um, 
the power from the motorcycle is heating them up exactly the same and uh, you've got the battery will last a couple of hours so if you just don't want to get connected up to the motorcycle battery and have all the faff of putting the the cabling down your arms and everything a quick little short trip out in cold temperatures there we go use the batteries a lot easier and uh, you know I tend to wear these over my jacket anyway so whilst the battery is quite padded out there it's over my jacket anyway so it's not really uh, an issue at all yes i mean these are meant to be worn over the jacket anyway not under the jacket but there we go i mean it's entirely up to you but there we go i hope you found that useful uh batteries and charger from gerbing thanks very much and the extension cable here as well if i wanted to go powered by the bike but these batteries last two three five or six hours depending on the setting you go for it and it'll uh, charge in over three hours i say sometimes it can be four hours five hours i've known some older batteries to take uh, seven or eight hours to charge up as well but i think that's just the age of the batteries rather than the uh the actual issue uh, themselves but I say these are new style batteries as well as i say they've got little indicators there the three leds or the two leds the one led to give you that state of charge as well but really good great glove great battery pack and really handy if you just want to get on the bike and go and have to faff around with wiring and also let's say if you just want to go ride somebody else's bike or you're going to go a, a tech do a test ride or something like that you just want some heated gloves in the winter bish bash bosh these are them right gerbin xrls with battery power jobs are good and don't forget to subscribe hit that bell like and share and check out the website revelatealf.com and i'll catch you again on another video hopefully in the daylight Ta-da!